Hey Bluebird friends, it's Mrs. B and I have another drawing project for us to do today. Today we are going to be looking at honeybees. Now I know they seem a little bit scary but they're actually not. They're really cute and super helpful for pollinating our flowers. So let's learn a little bit about them and then we're going to draw some bees with their honeycomb. Let's go! So, did you know honeybees can fly for up to 6 miles in as fast as 15 miles per hour? They must gather nectar from 2 million flowers to make just 1 pound of honey. A colony of bees has 20,000 to 60,000 honeybees and only one queen. And did you know that they communicate with one another by dancing? How cool is that? All right, so now that we've learned a little bit about our honeybees, let's draw one. So starting out here, we're gonna start with a circle. This is gonna be the middle of our bee. So after we have our circle, we're gonna make another one down below. This is gonna be the abdomen, the striped yellow and black part. Now mine's kind of skinny, you can make yours a little bit fatter. We are gonna have a chance to draw another bee in just a little bit, so it's okay if it's not perfect. Now we're actually gonna draw two ovals at the top and these are gonna be his eyes. We're gonna connect these together and close the head off with a small curve, just like that. Now let's put the wings on here. We're gonna come out at a diagonal right here in the middle of this first circle we made and we're gonna curve it back. It looks kind of like a raindrop or a teardrop shape without the point. We're gonna do this on both sides because they are symmetrical. They've got the same wings on both sides. They also have actually a smaller wing underneath so we're going to add that too just like this. Now that we got that let's add on our legs. So I'm going to put one leg coming up in front here on this side and one on the other side to keep our bee symmetrical. Bees are insects, so they should have six legs. So we're gonna add two more legs to this side down here. And let's add two more legs on this side. Now we've got our symmetrical bee. Okay, now that we have that, let's add some detail here. So we're gonna add just the small curves right here on the abdomen that we can color in in just a minute. Once we got that, we are gonna give him some details in his wings. So we're just gonna add some squiggly lines, very organic, doesn't have to be anything too fancy. This is gonna help us later when we go to outline it with our black crayon. Alright, and one more thing we gotta add, we gotta add our bees little antennas up here. And there we go, we've got our bee drawn. So, we are going to color our bee now. Now, I'm going to show you with crowns. We're gonna use a brown one, a yellow, a black, and a light blue. Now I know that seems a little weird, we're gonna use a light blue, but you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm gonna start out here with my yellow and I'm going to color two stripes on my bee's abdomen, just like this. I'm coloring nice and solid, I don't want any of that white poking through. We're making our bee as realistic as we can. All right, now that I've got done with my yellow, I'm actually gonna use my brown and I'm gonna put some texture right here in the middle of my bee. So, bees are actually fuzzy. We saw that in our video. So I'm adding a little bit of texture here with my brown. I'm also gonna go ahead and color in his head brown. Now, before we use our black, let me show you this light blue. We're gonna use this light blue to color in the wings, just so that we don't leave it white. Just like that, perfect. 
Okay, now we're gonna use our black here. I'm going to color in my antennas and my legs nice and neat. I'm gonna do my eyes here. I'm gonna leave two little white spots. You can do that if you want or you can color them in black. That is up to you. So I'm making sure I've got all six of my legs colored in here. Now I'm gonna color in these other stripes that I left white so that we have our black and white B stripes here or black and yellow B stripes, my goodness. And now I'm also gonna take my black and just add some more texture to the middle of his body, just like this. So he's got nice fuzzy texture. Now, lastly, I'm gonna go through and outline my wings. So where we put those pencil marks, just do your best to go right over the top of them, just like that. That gives us some good detail so we can see our bee's wings. Right. Oh, I'm also going to outline the bottom here and the top. And then our B is finished. Awesome job. All right, now that we've got our first B drawn, I'm going to draw two more Bs here. And I'm just going to speed this up real quickly. You guys can pause the video and draw as many Bs as you like. We're going to put these Bs on our honeycomb that we're going to make here in just a minute. So I'm going to quickly draw my three bees here and get them nice and colored in just like our first bee making sure I got all my texture on there and my colors and I'm making sure I'm outlining it getting that nice detail there so we can definitely see our bee contrast against the honeycomb we're gonna make All right, now, to put these on the honeycomb, we have to cut them out. So I'm cutting around my bees first. That way it's a little bit easier to maneuver my scissors. And I'm not cutting right on the line, just as close as I can next to it. It's okay if there's a little bit of white outline. That's no big deal. So get all of your bees cut out just like this so we can get ready to go. All right, so let's make this honeycomb now. So it's actually really easy. We're just gonna be making these hexagons. They have six sides. And do you see the pattern on which I'm drawing my hexagons? I'm kind of going at a diagonal to start, and then I'm just filling it in as I go. You can slow the video down if you need to, or pause so that you can get your guys' honeycomb made. I'm going to use a pin to outline it just so I have a nice pop of line when I go to color it here in just a minute. You can use a black marker if you like or any black pen would work. So I'm making sure I got all of my lines covered. All right and now I'm going to pull my crowns back out. I'm going to grab a yellow, yellow orange, and a red orange. First, I'm going to just color all of my honeycombs with my yellow. I'm just gonna get a nice base color here with the yellow first. And it's okay, I'm a little bit sloppy on the sides. We're gonna trim our honeycomb in just a minute. Now I'm gonna use my yellow orange and I'm just going to make some thick outlines through just some random hexagons here. I'm just kinda going and picking which ones I want it doesn't matter where you put this. And I'm also going to use it just to color in a few solid and blend some yellow and yellow orange together. Now I'm taking that red orange and I'm just going to add a little bit more detail around these outlines. You can do this if you want or if you like it as it is, that is perfectly good. And then I'm just going to blend in a little bit more with my yellow before I go to cut. Now I'm going to cut as close as I can to the edge just like I did with my bees. It's okay not to cut right on the line. We're making this fun honeycomb shape. If you want to leave it as a rectangle, you can leave it as a rectangle. It's up to you. All right, now that we got that made, last thing to do is put our bees on. So find which way you like your bees to sit and then grab your glue stick and get some nice coat of glue on the back here. Hold it down for about 10 seconds in each spot so our bees are nice and flat against our honeycomb. And there we go, guys. There is our bees. Good job guys, we made our bees on their honeycomb. I think they turned out super cute. 
and really awesome. When you get finished, remember to share with me your bees on our Facebook page. Until next time, it's a great day to be a bluebird. Bye.